Hi, I'm Kenny Joya. Welcome to another one of my tutorials. In this video, I want to show you to set proper record levels in Reaper. I want to start off by being clear what this video is not about. We're not going to be dealing with levels inside your DAW. We're also not going to be dealing with mixing or gain staging levels, or even recording virtual instruments to audio. We're only focusing on one thing, recording analog sources, not MIDI, to audio tracks in Reaper. In other words, capturing instruments like live drums, bass, piano, guitars, or vocals. Many people think, in my opinion, incorrectly, the goal is to record your signal as hot or as loud as possible, as long as the signal is in clipping, or going into the red. But that's not really the best method. Most analog equipment, especially the mic preamps built into your computer audio interface, are meant to sound best at minus 18. Of course, they do have headroom that allows you to record much hotter, but there's really no benefit to recording any louder. And recording a bit lower will ensure that you never do clip the signal, as peaks at minus 18 are gonna be pretty rare. So you avoid clipping by recording not as loud or hot. So I've prepared a bunch of tracks so you can see the proper recording levels that we should be shooting for. And obviously, I'm gonna show it to you in Reaper. Let's take a look. I have a project set up here, and I've already created some drum tracks. I have a kick, snare, and a pair of overheads with two inputs, one for the left and right. I'll put them into record by dragging the record button and change the inputs on each track. For the kick, I have the microphone plugged into input one. For the snare, it's plugged into input two. And for the overheads, I'll use stereo because I'm using input three and four. So now if I get the drummer to play, I should see input on my meters. Let's start with all the preamps turned down and I'll slowly bring up the first one to hear the kick. I think that's a bit too low. Again, we're shooting for minus 18 dB. Right now, that's a bit too low. So let's turn up the preamp on the computer audio interface on input one. Now that's a bit too hot. Again, it's not gonna distort or clip the input, but we don't need to record this hot. We wanna average about minus 18. So let's bring it down a bit. Right about there looks perfect. Now let's move on to the snare with the input two and slowly bring it up along with the kick. Again, that's a bit too low. Let's bring it up. I think that's a bit too loud. Let's bring it down a bit. Right about there looks perfect. It's averaging about minus 18 with peaks around minus 12. Again, there's no chance of clipping if a drummer hits too hard. And then finally, let's bring in the overheads, which are on two inputs left and right. So I'm gonna bring them up together. The mic preamps three and four. Right about there looks perfect. All our levels are averaging about minus 18. There's no chance of clipping because no matter how hard a drummer plays, they're not gonna play 18 dB louder. 
And we can always bring this up later in mixing. So let's take a look at a few other sources. Next, we have a bass track and it's set to input one. So let's bring up preamp one and see where it sits on the meter. I think I could bring it up a bit more. Right about there looks good. It's right about minus 18, so it's not too low or too high. Next, we have an acoustic guitar. And I also plug that in to input one. Let's see what that looks like on the meter. I think we can go a bit louder. That looks perfect, right about minus 18. And finally, we have a vocal track. Again, it's plugged into input one, and let's see where it sits on the meter as we bring up the preamp. And it's a struggle. Little by little, day by day, I'm trying to juggle. Loosen track, no turning back, I'm running through fire. Step by step. I think we can go a bit louder. Time is a struggle. Little by little, day by day, I'm trying to juggle. Loosen track, no turning back. I'm running through fire. Step by step, day by day, burning the wire. That feels pretty good right there. Again, it's about 18 dB on average, with some peaks going up to about minus 12. So I think you get the idea. This is how I prefer to set my levels, and I hope this makes it easier for you. So that's pretty much it. That's how to set proper record levels in Reaper. I hope you learned something, hope you could use it, and I'll see you next time. Thanks. Bingo, boys, let's go.